The term deranged sociopath <laughs> gets thrown around a lot by the media, but it really applies to my next guest. Starting today, you can see him in Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Please welcome Jason. The slasher genre in the early 2000s came to a crashing halt, while torture porn inspired horror films took dominance following the surface of terrorist slash Mexican cartel beheading videos. Coming out of the 1990s, self-aware horror teen slasher films such as Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer choked the well dry of the genre. With the emergence of indie film production companies like Lionsgate and Blumhouse Productions in the 2000s, their main focus on was keeping a small budget and using practical effects. This catered to a niche market that kept the genre alive. Leading the helm was films such as Hatchet, The Collector, Late to Rest, the Maniac Remake. And the Purge series. Purge is hiding in your home. You have one hour to find it and give him to us. Or we'll kill all of you. In my opinion, its pinnacle achievement came when your next hit the screens in the early 2010s. Your Next is a perfect example of standout genre piece that impacts filmmakers who inspire other filmmakers to make indie horror films, or just indie films in general. What I found simplistic yet innovative was its use of location and costume design. You see, costume design in a slasher film can make or break a movie. If you look at a classic slasher film like Halloween with Michael Myers and his mask, or the Friday 13th series with Jason Voorhees in the hockey mask, or if you want to start earlier with that, the bag over his head. Even Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the mask hides the evil beneath the sadistic tortured layers of a human being. In the film You're Next, the audience is captivated by these assailants in plastic animal masks with black tactical gear and hunting tools used to terrorize the family. The locations were spot on, using the creepy mansion as an isolated cage for the family, when at first the mansion was a place of sanctuary, a safe space. This rat in the cage scenario plays well with the story giving the familiarity of tropes in the slasher genre. For Halloween 2016, I added my own twist to the lamb slasher from your next. I got a replica axe, black tactical boots, utility vests, black sweatshirt, and a crossbow prop. It all came up to under a hundred bucks, the pants being the most expensive. It was a FUD costume, and I just gotta say, please check out your next. It's soon to be an underground classic. And follow my channel, please like and subscribe, and I got more videos on the way talking about my favorite films, horror films that impacted me as a filmmaker, so stay tuned.